Well, hello everybody. This is Mona and welcome to Butterflies Home and Garden. I am coming on today to share with you this is the exciting moment, the beginning of getting the harvest of my tomatoes to start making some sauce. Um, so, wanted to just come on. I did already get most of the tomatoes cut up. Um, this bowl right here was filled um, with tomatoes and I think this is a I want to say a 20 gallon um, bowl. I'm not sure. Um, but filled to the rim of tomatoes. So um, did go ahead and get most of those cut up. I am using my West, West 10 electric uh, tomato press. Um, I have a hand crank one too, but I'm just not feeling that today of doing all the cranking. So I pulled this one out. So I'm going to get set up and I will bring you guys back to show you how it's done. See you in a moment. All right, guys, I'm going to bring you back um, to show you the next step. Um, I've already gone ahead and put some of the um, diced tomatoes down inside of the hopper. Um, and I'm going to turn the machine on. It's really loud, so I'm not even going to try and say anything because you won't be able to hear me. Um, but I wanted to just show you this part first and let me bring it down a little bit. So. You can see um, how it comes down or comes out of, I think I got both parts. Let's see. Oh, bear with me, guys. Okay, that's much better. Um, but I have right here, this is the bowl that the sauce is going to be going down into. Let me move this down a little bit more. Um, oh. huh, bear with me, guys. There we go. All right, so uh, this big bowl is what the sauce is going to be coming down off of the chute. And if you notice right over here on the side, I have a measuring cup over there and it collects all of the pills and the seeds. So like I said, I'm going to turn this on, but you're not going to be able to hear what I'm saying um, once I turn everything on. But I just want to make sure we got a good view of everything. Okay. I think that's better. Okay, so now let's just get it turned back on.
how it's done. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get finished um, getting all the tomatoes processed and sent through. And I will bring you guys back um, when it's time for the next step. Hey guys, I'm back. I wanted to bring you on to the next step, which is cutting up all of the veggies that I'm going to be putting in my tomato sauce. Um, got some large yellow, um, I think these are sweet onions, and um, put using my Tupperware dicer here. It's very easy, just put it down in there, and boom, there you go. And you get your onions. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting all of this chopped up, and I will come back um, on the next step. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I decided not to um, sweat the onions because um, as this cooks and definitely when it goes through the canning process, um, the onions will soften up on their own. I don't didn't want them too soft. Um, so as you can see, I did already go ahead and put the onions in. And I also um, chopped up some zucchini that I'm going to put in also. And, you, know, you can kind of make your sauce the way that you want to make it. Um, there's no right or wrong way. Um, this is just the way that I do it. And um, I'm going to let this cook for a moment. And I'm going to move you a little closer. I don't know if you can see. There. Um, I'm going to cook this for a little while longer. Um, I'm also going to be adding some corn into this as well. Um, I don't have a lot of fresh corn. What I do have, I'm saving for another um, dish that I'm making. But I'm going to put some of my Thrive sweet corn in this. Um, so I will bring you guys back once I get further along to show you the status of the sauce. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I got all the ingredients mixed in. Um, I went out back, got some fresh basil and oregano. Um, I added some Thrive corn. Um, I, when I make my sauces, I make them a little different. Like this is one a sauce that I would use for if I were making um, lasagna or eggplant parmesan um, or chili. Um, because I like the corn um, in the sauce for those uh, meals. Um, but it has reduced down, has thickened up, um, and I'm actually making some um, ground chicken lasagna today. So I'm going to be using some of this sauce um, to go into that lasagna. Um, but this is pretty much it guys um, very simple from beginning to end the longest process is processing the tomatoes but with that Weston um, tomato press it just makes it so much easier um, in the past I used to you know the old method of boiling <laughs> boiling the tomatoes and peeling the skins off or do ice bath after that then peeling the skins and that whole spiel this Weston has made it so much easier and I am very happy because <laughs> that is such a long and tedious process. So anyways guys just wanted to come back on and let you see how it looks as it starts to thicken up. I am going to let it cook down some more to thicken up some more. Um, and you can you know the thing about sauces is that you can make it whatever way you want to make it you know it's, it's up to you um, but I mean this sauce is just it has the basil the oregano the onions the zucchini um, corn I mean just you know you can make it to fit your need for you and your family and that's what I love about sauce it's one of those things that you can make it different every single time you make some so, um, as always, guys, be blessed, and I will see you on the next video.